Here we see the finished blanks, carefully oiled to prevent rust during storage. This revolutionary design creates the monobuilt structural cage, delivering a twice as stiff advantage over traditional methods. Here we see the massive hydraulic press stamping a single piece roof panel. As the die retracts, you can see the structural ribs. This inner forming provides crucial support for the entire door assembly. The resistance seam welder joins the box section rails forming the primary structure, kicked up here for the axle clearance. The revolutionary monobuilt design positions the outer longitudinal members outboard of the rear wheels, creating a protective cage. The monobuilt advantage creates a twice as stiff structural cage, welding the outer frame rails to the roof pillars for unparalleled side impact protection. Here at the critical joints, the verification pass ensures the structure's integrity. Watch the fender, easy now. How's that gap look? Needs a tap right here. She's sitting flush now, boss. All right, easy now. Clear on this side. She's hooked on.
Here we see the phosphate rinse in action, followed by a thorough water treatment to ensure surface quality. The chromate rinse is essential. This passivation layer prevents flash rusting, ensuring the surface is ready for primer. At 200 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, the body is completely dried before the primer application. We use 400 to 500 grit paper on flexible blocks for these complex curves. It's critical for complete color coverage. Here we see the spot primer being applied with feathered edges to blend seamlessly with the surrounding area. Meticulous masking is essential. The tape is firmly burnished along the color separation lines before the first coat is applied. Initial lacquer bake, the skin bake at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, setting the surface for handling but not full cure. Here we see the sedan body enter the reflow oven at a precise 275 degrees. The steel back babbitt bearings are pressed into the block, ensuring a secure fit. The key is ensuring these timing marks are in perfect alignment before the tensioner is secured. Once the head is positioned, the bolts must be torqued precisely in sequence.
The synchronizer assembly, featuring brass blocker rings and detents, enables that smooth shifting without the need for double clutching. With the shift forks now mounted securely on the rails, the crucial interlock mechanism prevents the dangerous double shift. Pull the cord slowly now. All right, push it tight on your side. Got it. Now feed the chrome in slowly. revolutionary step-down design allows for an unprecedented lower seating position, making this 63-inch rear seat the widest in the industry. After filling the master cylinder, the system is bled at each wheel, removing air. This verifies the Dual Automatic's hydraulic stopping power. Once the tank is mounted, the fuel and gauge lines must be connected securely to ensure proper operation. Once the yoke slides onto the transmission output, the rear U-joint is bolted securely to the differential. She's secure. How'd that alignment look? Looks straight. Get that bolt tightened down. We use the torque wrench here to make sure these bolts are perfectly secured to the support panel. Built in Detroit, this 60-inch tall beauty revolutionized design. Now, it's ready for delivery to regional dealers.